Hello and welcome to the Stock Market Analysis. Today I'm going to look at uh, Kinsale Capital Group as you join me. Now this is a request from a viewer and I always love requests from viewers because it enables me to look at different types of stocks and of course their stock charts. Now this stock, uh, if you can see from here to about here, there was a very big move and Okay, let's see how big the move is. Wow, 60 over percent. So, you know, opportunities are everywhere in the stock market, not only in big stocks, uh, big names like Apple or Nvidia. So, <clears throat> if you find the right stock and buy it at the right time, there is always a very uh, good opportunity for you to make money. Now, before I go into the daily construction of the chart, let me go to the monthly chart. When I look at the monthly chart, well, this is a stock that has been a steady return over the years for uh, uh, investors. Let's say if you happen to buy around here, 29, right? Today, the price is 454. So this is a steady and long-term stock, something like an Apple or Nvidia but uh, in a less well-known uh, name. So even in the uh, monthly chart, we can see the 20 MA rising and the 50 MA rising. You always want to focus on stocks that are above their rising 20 MA and 50 MA in whatever time frame. Whether it's monthly, weekly or daily, this is the best kind of stocks. And even in this monthly chart, you can see that they are up. it's in a very nice uptrend. Therefore, uh, breakouts like this are viable. Uh, like here, dips are viable. This breakout higher is viable. Dip to this support area is viable. And perhaps the next dip to this area is actually uh, very viable. Now, uh, let's look at the weekly chart. Okay, weekly chart is very interesting. It is... Uh, Right now, above the rising, uh, the the twenty MA is rising, the fifty MA is rising most of the time, and uh, the two hundred MA is rising most of the time. So this is really a quality stock. Which uh, from here, even way back here, you, we should whoever saw this stock with the rising twenty MA, fifty MA, two hundred MA in the weekly chart, they should know that this is of an investing quality. And of course, here, just now, monthly chart, I saw this uh, ascending triangle. Now, when I zoom into the weekly chart, we have a very nice ascending triangle breakout where you can buy here, put a stop loss. And then the decline to the uh, top of the ascending triangle with a doji showing slowing bearish momentum. This can, you can also pick up the stop higher, uh, uh, lower here, ride it higher. And of course, a lot of dips and so on. And here's another... Uh, ascending triangle type kind of breakout which uh, investors can buy it you know and of course the top of the ascending triangle here is a support area and which is why when the stock declined when the stock went up and declined find found support at the top of the ascending triangle the weekly ascending triangle and rose up so at this moment the stock is actually declining. Now, um, there's a very nasty rate bar here. There's also a nasty rate bar here. But when it drops to the support area, you might want to wait for it to stabilize a bit before going up again. And here we have uh, the top here. This is actually a support area, which is why when you see after the rate bar here, there, was, uh, there wasn't another very big rate bar. We have a small body candle and now also we have kind of doji like as the week trades. This shows that support is something that investors are watching, is kicking in and whatever the stock does, if this support area holds, eventually you'll do something like this and go back up. So you want to watch this support area very, very carefully to know when it's a good time to buy. Okay. Now with that, in mind with a big picture in mind i've shown you the monthly chart the weekly chart now we go to the daily chart now daily chart this stock uh had a bullish cross boom all the way up and uh 
you know the bottoming process here was very very beautiful you can see how it trade above a downtrend line i always like to draw a downtrend line and you should if you can if a stock uh, crashes or drops or corrects you always must find uh, an opportunity to draw a downtrend line because it speaks volumes. When the stock goes back above the downtrend line, goes back above the, t above the 20 MA and the 50 MA, boom, all the way it will go up. And this is like a, some kind of double bottom at a support area around here. So these green areas are support areas and you should uh, always remember support areas are areas which you want to look at for the stock to stop dropping for bearish momentum to slow down and then you go in and pick up the stock and of course here we have a continuation pattern we have a con continuation pattern here a consolidation breakout where you can buy the breakout with the stop loss boom all the way higher uh, this consolidation happened near the rising 20 ma which makes it very powerful and then we have a bullish cross here Consider consolidation after a bullish cross is actually quite powerful. So at this moment, what is our concern? Um, this stock has gone up and boom, all very, very bad uh, decline after it dropped below this support area here, this support area. The moment it drops it, drops below, boom, all the way down it goes. So at this moment, should you uh, be buying this stock now? The first thing is we must wait for the stock to really stabilize. Um, it's the kind of decline here. It's not like here where you can draw a downtrend line. And secondly, you want to take a bit of history lesson. You want to wait for at least for the stock to go back above the daily 20 MA and uh, maybe trade a bit more before going up. Okay, so here. I can't really draw a downtrend line compared to here you can connect the highs here and when the stock goes above the downtrend line you can see that it uh, uh, the stock refuses to go down anymore and there's a shift from bearish to bullish and when it breaks out of this consolidation this was a very nice sign that the uh, stage 2 uptrend has started in the daily chart so maybe you want to see it trade sideways a bit more all right maybe this consolidation here i don't know i would really love for it to go back up one more time or like this and then only uh, it breaks above this downtrend line now we can take some hint for <coughs> seasonality this is the seasonality of knsl <coughs> if you can see that uh, april this is for the past four years. April, it has gone up 60% of the time, close higher than it opened. But the gains was only 0.4%. Uh, March wasn't very good, negative 3.1%. Now May, it has only closed higher 25% of the time, going higher 6.3% <clears throat> on average because some years uh, <clears throat> the data was good. Okay, maybe it went up 10% some years, but the other three years it has gone down. But June, July, August, it has been very good months for the stock, rising 75% of time, 75% of time, 100% of the time, going up 7.7%, 9.9%, 4.9%. This is data for uh, 2020 to 2022. Even if you draw it a bit out, drag it a bit out, you can see that uh, <clears throat> last seven years that uh, April it has gone up 71% of the time, May only 50 50 percent of the time, but it's gone up a lot. So, um, this data may not really help us, but if you just scroll up and down between the years, you will realize that you know. Some of the best months for this stock is in June, July, August, right? Seven, year, eight years, five years. So, um, if April does not give you an opportunity, May does not give you an opportunity, if it really stabilizes and break above, let's say, the downtrend line here around in June, then, well, it 
this stock might uh, give you a monster return from June to August onwards. So that's something to uh, think about. <coughs> okay. So at this moment, I really want it to trade sideways a bit. You can see even this, there's a very negative rate bar here. There's a gap down negative rate bar. It took uh, how long before <coughs> it reached? Okay, from here to here, when, okay, 49 bars, 72 days. It took about 72 days before it stabilized and then going back up. So if you take this line here and uh, go to about here, uh, you might have to wait until here before it can stabilize and go back up. So no, you get what I mean. Sometimes studying a bit of history and how the stock bottoms can give you a idea of what to expect. You know, so at this moment, if you ask me, I wouldn't touch it, wouldn't buy it. I would want to see it stabilize like around this area. Try to form a bottom before buying it again. So um, I do hope this analysis helps you. And uh, if you have any uh, stocks you'd like to see, do uh, type it in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one.